We had a school that reached out to us, Miss Ashberger's class at the museum school in Decatur, Georgia. They had a class project where they were studying African penguins and especially penguins in zoos and aquariums. They were learning all about enrichment as part of our care and welfare for the animals and the students were challenged with creating and designing new enrichment projects for African penguins based on what they had learned about them. So they drew up blueprints, they discussed it with their teacher, they looked at some of the adaptations of African penguins, like the fact that they can see color, they like to chase shiny objects like the fish out in the ocean, and they have really great sense of hearing. They incorporated all of those things into their projects, and surprisingly, they even thought about trainer safety, which we love. They put all those designs together using some arts and crafts projects, and they reached out just looking for feedback on how those objects would relate to African penguins, if they would find them interesting, anything that we could just give them so that they could enhance their projects for the future. I wanted to really take that project a step further, and I reached out to Ms. Ashberger asking if the kids would send their projects here to Mystic Aquarium so that they could see them in real life being used around the African penguins. We couldn't bring them out onto the habitat because they couldn't quite stand up to the water in our aquatic environment, but we were able to use them from our public viewing spaces and our underwater viewing area, and we were able to show the penguins all of those different objects that the kids had created. They used a lot of different materials incorporating those things like color and shine with things like streamers and aluminum foil and bells. But now I wanted to show the kids how they inspired those designs to fully come to life. But we also wanted to incorporate a couple of our intern students that are here at the aquarium learning about things like enrichment and how to care for penguins. And they watched the videos that were sent, studied all of the kids' designs, and they came up with two brand new enrichment objects based on all those things. They incorporated color, dangly pieces that the penguins might want to tug on, a little bit of shine, as well as that noise component so that the penguins could hear the objects. So a lot of the kids had really great ideas of making things that we were able to hold up high so that we weren't at risk of the penguins biting us. And then we have some chains. When you wiggle them around, they make noise. And they're also really colorful because penguins can see color. We wanted to make it super colorful for them to see and then also for them to hear. The enrichment item that we made was a rain stick and it has a bunch of little pebbles on the inside of it and it is a PVC pipe that is wrapped up in colorful tape and the point of it is to make a lot of fun noise for the penguins to hear and interact with as well as it being a stick for them to play with while we move it around. They went through our whole process here at the aquarium where they designed them, put them together, got approval from me as the curator of the penguin area and then they even had to take those new objects to our veterinarian team for full approval to make sure that they were safe and well constructed for our African penguin colony. I'm happy to say everyone has signed off on our interns projects, but it's all because of the inspiration and creativity of some students hundreds of miles away that took the time to reach out. Working on a project like this is really inspiring for me because it's, we're able to take something that the community helped with and we're able to make it really come to life for the betterment of the animals that we work with every day. It means a lot to me to be doing a project just like this because it means that there are children out there who are inspired to work with animals and want to be a part of their enrichment and their welfare and help us better their lives here at the aquarium. I really just want to thank Miss Ashberger and the Museum School for reaching out to Mystic Aquarium even hundreds of miles away and including us in your project. I am so inspired by each and every one of you and I hope that you realize that even something like a small project that you think you're just doing for school can really go forward and turn into something so much bigger that inspires so many others. It's important that we all learn about and understand animals like the African penguin, especially since they're an endangered species. The more that we can inspire our next generation to care for them and want to be involved in projects like this, hopefully we can all come together to be part of the bigger solution. It's one small step towards a much bigger picture, but thank you. I am inspired by each and every one of you, and I hope that you keep up with your creativity and including places in your projects in the future. Great job.